Christmas Day, we get up, we're going to open presents. Somehow my son sees it. So dad, let's go out to a little forward, a little bike thing. I said, let's go, Inc. And so we run out, we get the helmet, we get the goggles. Grandma comes out. Grandma has a little camera phone. Oh, Inky, it's going to be great. My wife comes out. Oh, this is going to be awesome. My cousins come out. This is going to be awesome. I said, great. So I grab my son. I sit him on his seat. I sit on the back rack. I said, now, Ink, we have two cold words. So the first two cold words are light and heavy. I said, now, when I say light, you go light. We kind of ride, photo op time. You wave, little presidential wave. They take pictures. It's all good. I said, now, when I say heavy, you go full throttle. You mash it. We're screaming, fist pumping the whole nine. So we start riding light. He's getting it. Heavy, he's getting it. I said, now, the next two cold words are skinny and wide. I said, now, this is how we're going to turn. I said, now you don't want to turn skinny because if you turn skinny, strong possibility you may throw dad off here. And my wife, your mother is not going to let us live it down until 2025. Right? And so we're riding and he's getting it. Light, heavy, skinny, wide. He's doing it well. So we get on this stretch and we're going. And I said, wide. And somehow he heard skinny. Right? And sure enough, he turned skinny and he threw dad off here. Right? In midair, I'm looking back and I see my wife running toward us like I told you. And so I hit the ground and I roll. And I look back at my son, I hit the ground, his helmet cocks up, goggles pop up. And so I say, I gotta do something quick. I said, because if my wife beats me to my son, she's gonna make him think he got shot 25 times, right? And so I run to him, I stand him up, I fix his goggles, I put his helmet on. I grab the four-wheeler, I stand it up. I grab my son, my wife is still running. I sit him on the seat. I sit on the back rack of the ATV little four-wheeler thing. I said, ain't go. He looked at me. I said, go heavy. He mashes it. We're going, right? He screams out, dad, this is the best thing ever. I said, now turn around, go back up where mommy is. We're going to park it. And so we get back up and we park it. And as we're getting off, everybody is asking the same question. Why did you do that? Why did you do it? I said, because if we didn't attack opposition and adversity in that moment, it would have paralyzed him for the rest of his life. I said the lesson wasn't even about the four-wheeler or my wife. That wasn't the lesson. The lesson was when life knocks your butt down, I need you to get back up and I need you to go heavy on the thing that just knocked you. The lesson was when uncertainty creeps in, I need you to get up and get right back on the thing that knocked you off and I need you to go heavy on it. The lesson is when something doesn't turn out the way you want it to turn out, I need you to attack the very thing that didn't turn out the way that you want it to turn out and I need you to go heavy on it. It's never about the competitors. It's about what we possess and what we do.